hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing my project pan update for may so the first item we have is my naked urban decay wild west palette and in here i've got the shade whiskey whiskey is this shade here this brown shade here i have used it three times this month a total of 14 times but you can kind of see that we do now have like a dip beginning to form down here that is progress nonetheless it's very minute but it's definitely noticeable now but i know this palette will take a long time anyway so i'm not expecting it to happen anytime soon i'm gonna hit pan but it's still good to see that progress happening next we've got my little rock palette this is the one that's got like 120 eyeshadows in it there's two palettes in here and we've got the first one and it's the shade number 45 which is this orange shade down here now again you can see we have got a big old crater formed now we've used it four times this month a total of 13 times and i do think that this could potentially hit pan next month but yeah i think this will be because I think these are quite easy to hit pan on and I feel like I'm about halfway there already so then we've got this this is my colour institute palette and I've got in this shade down here which with the big old pan in it um, this was rolled in to be used 50 times we are on 12 uses so I've used this shade so I've used this shade four times this month and I feel like the pan is getting bigger but still no nowhere near 50 uses I feel like 50 uses is quite a high number to use I am expecting my Urban Decay eyeshadow to take longer than 50 uses so next we've got the blush that I rolled in this is my Nikkei New York blush in the shade Romantic it is a powder blush so it does look like this, Ooh, like that, I'm not going to try and focus it too much and then you pour it out and it looks like this in the top. I've got this rolled in for 20 uses, this month I have used it 3 times, that adds up the tally to 8 times. I've been using this in my project so I've got 12 more uses until we can roll this one out slow and easy but that's okay we've got this this is my pixie by petra sheer butter lip balm and this is what it looks like right now so we still have quite a lot of this left which is not a surprise at all in the slightest i have used this four times and we have used it 12 times in this project and we're going for a 50 use goal for this one as well so we'll wait and see what happens with this one the next item we've got is my nail polish that i've got rolled into the project this is my holo taco nail polish in the shade board meeting and as you can tell i do love my nail polish um i have been recently like swatching all my nail polishes which might be a hint to my video on sunday yeah i haven't really used this one much because i'm working on different nail polishes i've only used this one once this month and a total of five times in this project i've got this rolled in for 10 times so 10 more fingies and then we can roll this one out um use again i always mention this just in case anyone new is here but a use for me for nail polish is a finger because I always have them different colours I mean this one is kind of really random that it's all the same colour right now but this is more like it all different shades so yeah never really having them the same colour I've got a highlighter here this is my MAC soft and gentle mineralised finish a skin finish even which looks like this it is a what is this called I've literally forgotten what this is called. I remember I had to look at another product that had the name in the in the title. It's a baked product, so these always take longer to get through because 
of just how they are. This is in this project for 50 uses and we are at 8 uses after using it 3 times this month but I do love it. I'm wearing it today, it's quite subtle. Then we have my other highlighter which again is in for 50 uses which is insane but this is my sleek palette in the shade Solstice and we've got the not the shade, the palette name is Solstice and then the shade we've got is Equinox which is this orange shade down at the bottom and honestly it looks like I've not really used it again very much um, I've used it two times this month, a total of nine times in this project this palette in general is just chef's kiss, absolutely love this palette we have my eyeliner, this is it this is my Ico eyeliner uh, this is a fat liquid eyeliner this is in for 10 uses and I have to admit again I've only used this two times this month last month I didn't use it at all so at least I've used it a couple of times this month we've used it for five times now within this project five more uses and then I can roll it out I really should be better at remembering to use this but I just keep forgetting and then finally this is an eyeshadow that I rolled in last month this is my next palette um, if you guys don't know and you're not English this is a store in the UK and I guess this is like 10-15 years old now it also cost £4 at the time I don't know if it's going to show but it's still got the price on there, which is £4, which is hilarious. Um, don't know if it's going to show properly or not, but yeah, so this is how old that is. It's very old. And I rolled in the shade Chocolate, which is this brown shade up here. Now, when I worked on this shade, this emerald shade down here, it took me forever to hit pan on this one so I'm not expecting the chocolate one to come through any quicker so I do think this will be in the project for a while too there we go that is all my items that I've got rolled in right now I have just realised the majority of items in this are for number of uses and some of them are quite high up I am debating whether I need to We'll lower these numbers because otherwise we're going to be working on these all year long there we go yeah it just so happens because of the amount of projects I've got going on right now that progress is slow just overall in all of my projects which is totally fine I'm okay with that considering I also only wear makeup really mainly at the weekends um, I recently broke my no buy and the only items I have bought are items that I have finished or need to replace so I got a new primer I decided to buy the milk primer um, as I'm so out of it now I don't really follow any beauty influences anymore or watch anyone like reviewing items I don't really know what is the best primer best mascara, best whatever so I pretty much just went onto a site and chose like the best selling and that is what this one was, this was best selling I think I bought this on Feel Unique which has been taken over by Sephora now in the UK so yeah this is it, I haven't started this yet so it's still in packaging I am excited to try this, ooh it's green I was not expecting it to look green Grip Primer so that is what I bought and then the other thing that I recently bought is my annual new mascara you meant to buy a mascara like every three months right but I actually managed to wear a mascara for like 12 months that 12 months ends in July and so this is the one that I bought to take over and it is the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara again I did the same thing I went through the best sellers and this was the one that was on the top of the list and that's how I chose this one as the mascara so yeah I've also never actually used an hourglass mascara my go-to mascara has always been this one 
It is the Lush Sensational by Maybelline. To not have this one, it's going to be a little bit weird, but we're going to try this in the shade Ultra Black as well. So, I don't know why I decided to do a little haul in this, but I just wanted to mention that my no buy has technically ended. Oh, I did forget, actually. I did buy one more thing. I didn't buy two things. I bought three things, and that is this. So, there's one category in my entire collection which I don't include in any products, and that is my powders. That is because they I only have two of them right now, and my rule is if I have less than five, five or less items in that category, they can no longer be taking part in my projects so i've had two for a while however i'm close to finishing one of them so i did buy this as well this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder last time i bought something from the site it came cracked and broken so let's see if the same thing's gonna happen with this one I'm scared, I'm nervous. Ooh, no. Okay, good. There we go. Brand new. Never used. Yeah, I brought, I think, a Becca highlighter just before Becca went out of business. And it came completely smashed. And I thought I was buying a cream highlighter anyway, but apparently I bought the powder version. Anyway, it's a mess. I've never actually repressed it. It just sits in my drawer unused and terrified to try and use that stuff but anyway so yeah there we go i just wanted to show you guys the stuff that i have bought recently again i technically broke my no buy rule but also they aren't like the areas that are terribly bad for it i really should do a no buy for my nail polishes i've got like over 200 of them guys actually i think i've got 300 now anyway that is my video, that is me done. Hopefully next month we will hit pan on my low rock eyeshadow, I think, at most. I am rambling, I'm gonna stop. I will see you guys in my video on Sunday where I am doing something a little bit different to what I usually post and it's a different vibe, I would say, to what I usually post. So, I'll see you guys there. Bye.